The Bruneian Empire or Empire of Brunei, Brunei, also known as Sultanate of Brunei or Negara Brunei, was a Malay Sultanate, centered in Brunei on the northern coast of Borneo Island in Southeast Asia. Bruneian rulers converted to Islam around the 15th century, when it grew substantially since the fall of Malacca to the Portuguese, extending throughout coastal areas of Borneo and the Philippines, before it declined in the 17th century. Historiography Understanding the history of the Bruneian Empire is quite difficult since it is hardly mentioned in contemporary sources of its time, as well as there being a scarcity of evidence of its nature. No local or indigenous sources exist to provide evidence for any of this. As a result, Chinese texts have been relied on to construct the history of early Brunei. Boni in Chinese sources most likely refers to Borneo as a whole, while Poli Poli, probably located in Sumatra, is claimed by local authorities to refer to Brunei as well. Early history The earliest diplomatic relations between Boni, Boni and China are recorded in the Taiping Huan Yu Ji Taiping Huan Yu Ji 978. In 1225, a Chinese official, Zhao Rubua, reported that Boni had 100 warships to protect its trade, and that there was a lot of wealth in the kingdom. In the 14th century, Brunei seems to be subjected to Java. The Javanese manuscript Nagara Kretagama, written by Prapanka in 1365, mentioned Barun as the vassal state of Majapahit, which had to make an annual tribute of 40 kadis of camphor. In 1369, the Sulus attacked Poni, looting it of treasure and gold. A fleet from Majapahit succeeded in driving away the Sulus, but Poni was left weaker after the attack. A Chinese report from 1371 described Poni as poor and totally controlled by Majapahit. Government The government of Bruneian Empire was despotic in nature. The empire was divided into three traditional land systems known as Karajan, crown property, Kuripan, official property, and Tulan, hereditary private property. Expansion After the death of its emperor, Hayam Warak, Majapahit entered a state of decline and was unable to control its overseas possessions. This opened the opportunity for Bruneian kings to expand their influence. Chinese Ming Emperor Yongle, after ascending to the throne in 1403, immediately dispatched envoys to various countries, inviting them to pay tribute to the Chinese court. Brunei immediately got involved in the lucrative tributary system with China. By the 15th century, the empire became a Muslim state, when the king of Brunei converted to Islam, brought by Muslim Indians and Arab merchants from other parts of maritime Southeast Asia, who came to trade and spread Islam. It controlled most of northern Borneo, and it became an important hub for the East and Western world trading system. Local historians assume that the Bruneian Empire was a thalassocratic empire that was based upon maritime power, which means its influence was confined to coastal towns, ports and river estuarines, and seldom penetrated deep into the interior of the island. The Bruneian kings seem to have cultivated alliance with regional seafaring peoples of Orang Laut and Bajau that formed their naval armada. The Dayaks, native tribes of interior Borneo however, were not under their control, as empiral influence seldom penetrated deep into the jungles. Following the presence of Portuguese after the fall of Malacca, Portuguese merchants traded regularly with Brunei from 1530 and described the capital of Brunei as surrounded by a stone wall. During the rule of Bolkia, the fifth sultan, the empire held control over coastal areas of northwest Borneo, present-day Brunei, Sarawak and Sabah, and reached Seludong, present-day Manila, Sulu Archipelago including parts of the island of Mindanao. In the 16th century, the Brunei Empire's influence extended as far as Kapas River Delta in West Kalimantan. The Malay Sultanate of Sambas in West Kalimantan and Sultanate of Sulu in southern Philippines in particular developed dynastic relations with the Royal House of Brunei. Other Malay Sultans of Pontianak, Samarinda as far as Banjarmasan, treated the Sultan of Brunei as their leader. The true nature of Brunei S. Relations to other Malay sultanates of coastal Borneo and Sulu archipelago is still a subject of study, as to whether it was a vassalized state, an alliance, or just a ceremonial relationship. Other regional polities also exercised their influence upon these sultanates. 
The Sultanate of Banjar, present-day Banjarmasin, for example, was also under the influence of Damak in Java. Decline by the end of 17th century, Brunei entered a period of decline brought on by internal strife over royal succession, colonial expansion of the European powers, and piracy. The empire lost much of its territory due to the arrival of the Western powers such as the Spanish in the Philippines, the Dutch in southern Borneo and the British in Labuan, Sarawak and North Borneo. Sultan Hashim Jalilul Alam Akhamadan later appealed to the British to stop further encroachment in 1888. In the same year British signed a Treaty of Protection and made Brunei a British protectorate until 1984 when it gained independence. Footnotes References Further reading Historical Atlas, History of Brunei Expanding boundaries of Sarawak including territorial gains from the Sultanate of Brunei British treaties regarding North Borneo including cession agreement from the Sultanate of Brunei <laughs>